Behold, what I'll be showing you in today's video is gonna be like mind boggling for you people. Meet the smallest ever mini PC produced by Intel, the all new Intel NUC. Like literally guys, this PC is so small, just the size of your palm, but packs some next gen hardware. It's based on Intel's 11th gen platform. And I'm like super excited to unbox and show you what this thing has to offer in this video. So let's get started. Alright guys, here's the mini PC Intel has sent us. It's their all new 11th gen Tiger Canyon NUC and comes in this sort of box packaging. There is nothing much written on it, so let's directly get started with the unboxing part. So as soon as you open it, there you go, we've got our mini PC at the top. It's available in different configurations and specs. We've got the Intel 11th gen i5 variant with Iris XC graphics on board. And oh my god, what? Just look at the size of this thing. This is a complete PC? Wow, we'll just come back to this in a moment guys. Let me also show you what else we got in the package. By the way, we've got some details on the box that says this thing is mainly made for like business, engineered for productivity and stuff like that. And not to forget this hidden compartment in the box, which includes all the accessories for the mini PC. There's a main cord for the adapter, a power adapter for the PC, some paperwork, and also has a VESA mount bracket included in the package. And that's it, these are all the stuff we got in the box. Now let's finally check out the product we've been waiting for, the all new 11th gen Intel NUC. Just look at the size of this thing! So small and compact, unbelievably portable guys. Build quality is also very good, entire body is made of polycarbonate in a matte black finishing and it definitely feels heavy in the hand. At the back side we've got some details regarding the product and unscrewing these four spots actually reveals the internal structure. Let me give you all a complete overview and show you what do we have on all the sides. Now on the front side, you've got a backlit power button followed by two USB 3.2 super speed ports. There is nothing much on the left and right, just some vents to let the heat escape and keep the PC running cool. And also a Kensington lock as well. And going to the back is where we've got all the connectivity ports present. Despite being so small, Intel actually managed to fit in all these things. There's a DC in port, two Thunderbolt ports and one of them is actually a 4.0. A USB 2.0 and a USB 3.2 port so you can easily connect all your peripherals, two HDMI ports for your monitors and lastly there's also a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet LAN port present as well. So that's it, these are all the available connectivity ports on this mini PC. What I'll do is I'll quickly set it up, use it for some time and then be right back to continue the video. Alright guys, I'm back to continue the video. I've been using this mini PC for the past few days and now I think I'm ready to share like my complete experience and feedback on this product. The first thing I'd like to talk about is the design and the size. I mean, just look at it guys, this is so small and compact. And by the way, I have to mention, this is not the first time we are covering a mini PC on our channel. We've covered like plenty of mini PCs in the past, but those were definitely a bit heavy and bulky. This is almost half the size of the previous gen mini mini PCs guys, the all new 11th gen Intel NUC. Just look at the size, it's so slim and just the size of your palm. Now that is really appreciable. Uh, now these sort of mini PCs are mainly made for people who don't have space on their table, you know. A lot of people actually can't place such huge desktops on their table or maybe underneath the table and they prefer having something like, you know, small, compact so that they can get like a clean desktop, just the monitor visible and the peripherals like keyboard and mouse. For those sort of people, this is very useful. And on top of that, it's actually made for like business and office kind of purpose. For example, see in offices where they have like receptions or maybe counters in like supermarkets there they don't have space to put like a complete desktop PC right there these people can actually use these sort of mini PCs place it in some sort of small corner of a table or maybe you can even wall mount this thing or place directly at the back of your monitor because it's VESA compatible right so you're saving huge space and it's like invisible if you place it at the back of the monitor so it's mainly designed for these sort of applications. Now, before we actually go deep into the performance and talk about the benchmarks and all that stuff, first, let me tell you the specs of this mini PC. Now, as I've mentioned at the beginning, guys, this mini PC, the Intel 11th Gen NUC is actually available in like different configurations. And the one we have right now is powered by Intel's 11th Gen i5-1135 G7 CPU. It's a four core, eight thread CPU with a max boost of up to 4.2 gigahertz. And this is the same CPU that you might have seen on 
a lot of Intel 11th gen laptops guys so you can expect like a similar kind of performance and talking about the graphics well this one packs Intel Iris XC graphics on board and comes with like 16 GB DDR4 RAM on board clocked at 3200 megahertz and has 512 GB NVMe SSD as well. So that is pretty much it, the specs of the mini PC we have. Now talking about the performance, see as I've told you this mini PC is mainly made for like home and office purpose. And let me tell you, I've been using it and it performs great for home purpose guys. Like everything was running smooth on it, the whole UI. And I forgot to mention the mini PC comes preloaded with Windows 10 pre-installed. So that is one more advantage. All the app openings, closings, everything was fine. And I could easily run like a dozen tabs in my Chrome without any lag. So it's great for like home purpose guys. And keeping that aside, if you ask about the office use, well, Microsoft Office works great on it. Like Word, you know, Excel, Spreadsheet, these sort of applications you can easily manage on it. Not an issue at all because it's got 11th Gen i5 right and on top of that you can even do like photoshop editing also that was also working and basic 1080p video editing is also possible so these sort of applications this mini pc can easily handle not an issue at all but one thing i have to mention is it's not like a workload or like a gaming pc guys so don't expect like this small pc can actually do like heavy workloads for you no it's not made for that it's made for like uh, you know day-to-day -day home or office purpose kind of stuff but that doesn't mean you can't play game on it, right? Because it's got like Intel's Iris XC graphics on board. And yes, you can do a bit of gaming. As you can see right now, I've tried playing a couple of AAA title games like GTA 5 also. And it was definitely capable of running that. We are playing GTA 5 at 720p resolution with all the graphics set to normal. And on an average, we were getting around like 60 to 65 FPS. So buttery smooth gaming possible in 720p resolution. So like this guys, you can do a bit of casual gaming on this mini PC, not an issue at all, but don't expect you'll be able to play like graphic intensive AAA titles, you know, 2020 or 2021 titles smoothly on this PC at 1080p resolution. That is not possible. So that's it guys, that was the performance of this PC. And one thing I do have to mention is Intel has managed to give these many, you know, IO ports on it. That is something I have to appreciate. It's got plenty of ports guys. You can easily connect your keyboard, mouse and still have like two more extra ports. So you can even carry some external pen drives or maybe storage sort of devices. And not to forget, it also has like onboard Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0 so that is also there it's like a complete total package in your palm well that is pretty much it guys my video on this brand new mini pc from intel their 11th gen NUC. it's a very good pc guys super useful for a lot of people has its own applications like useful for office needs or you know for home purpose also where people don't want to waste any sort of space on their table you know like a minimalistic setup the only thing I felt is adapter, power adapter size could have been a bit smaller, you know, considering that the power adapter was actually bigger than this mini PC. So if they could actually manage to make like a compact adapter, that would be pretty nice. And if you ask about the pricing details, well, this thing is priced around like 40,000 rupees, my configuration variant. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Now, here's an interesting question for you people. Would you actually get this mini PC for 40K or would you buy a laptop or maybe build a PC for 40K? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. So that is pretty much it guys, my video on this product. I hope you all enjoyed and got to learn a lot. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.